Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, things are going well, uh, so well, in fact, that I want to pose a question to you guys before I, I really get started on this episode. This episode will go forward no matter what. Uh, but the question I want to pose is, do you guys think I should continue with this series? Effectively, we've turned this into a newbie island playthrough, which is the best way to do the strategy I was going for, which is to start as uh, Iceland up here and... Uh, then conquer Ireland to conquer the rest of the British Isles. Um, do you guys want to see keep seeing it going forward? I mean, I, I will be able to take the British Isles. We'll take a little bit, but I'll totally be able to do it, and I'm totally cool with doing that. So just tell me what your opinions. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm going to play next, I'm not sure with Crusader Kings 2. Um, it will probably be a mod. I just haven't quite figured out which mod I want to look at. Um, that being said, let's just go forward. So yeah, definitely leave your opinions on what you think would be useful and of course i appreciate everyone that has oh i totally forgot i had these guys down here um i completely appreciate everybody who has been uh supporting and liking and you know all the new subscribers and of course if you've made it this far into any of my series you uh are a big fan um and i really like you just for clarity those of you that are like my number one fans uh you are my number one fans Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We're, we're not quite at 50 gold, or maybe we are exactly at 50 gold. Um, we do want to go to war with Scotland pretty much right away because we don't want to die. Um, the downside here is that we only have 1,500 dudes. Uh, Scotland here, he's in hiding apparently. He got 50 gold though, which is really good. This guy has more dudes than we do. So we have 1,500 dudes. We could get another 1,000 dudes to get to 2,500 dudes. Um, so yeah, that's that's the big downside. We have plenty of money. Um, so we could theoretically hire a holy order. Also, this guy uh, has a an alliance with Mercia, which is a big problem. We, uh, I don't believe, have an alliance anymore with this dickbag down here. Did our alliance dissolve? Yeah, our alliance dissolved. We only have a pact with my spouse. Um, so yeah, that these are all things that, that uh, we should be considering um, when striking these guys. Now, let's look at our mercenary, available mercenaries. Um, this is probably the mercenary order I would hire. 1,500 men, 10 gold a month. Uh, which means we could have them for 60 months or five years that give me a big force of heavy infantry um but mercia is currently not involved in a war and they also have 3,000 dudes so that's a i mean if we could get this raised back up to full we'd be fine um but as we're speaking right now we can't and that's a big problem let's um he's he's getting taken care of anyway anyways so yeah we really want to get that land back It'd be really important I'm going to do some more raiding on the Umayyad coast but yeah we really want to attack Scotland again when the opportunity arises uh, if we'd be really nice is if what is your alliance you you're 33 you're apparently in hiding. Why are you in fucking hiding? Interesting. And the King of Mercia here, also probably no one wants to kill him. Yeah, not, not a significant portion of anybody wants to kill him. What do we got here? We got some gold. Let's get that gold. But yeah, what we need... Oh, I sh what I should look at real quick here quick like now is you haven't fully recouped your levy's only at 89 your levy's only at 20 which would tell me what the replenishing rate was i do have lots of money so i think it would be wise to upgrade this at least um Just, does any of these actually affect the replenishing rate? Levy reinforcement rate, training grounds, that does. All right, yeah, let's get the keep, though. Um, I think the keep is good to get here. 
Did I build a uh, upgraded castle town here as well? Let's get that up. Ugh, I need the money though. Normally I would spend that, but I think right now the money is far more important. Somebody just started a goddamn faction. A bunch of dicks starting factions. No, you don't want to convert? Okay. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Okay, we'll be fine. Then we come down to uh, this region. Nine gold there. Nine point nine gold there. We'll we'll cross the uh, the Sea of Canarias. God, I remember the old days here when I was getting raided by dicks from the east. And by the east, I mean the north. Cool. So yeah, we'll we'll cross back over and get that other gold. But we really need get get on the boats. Because these guys are going to come for us. And oh no, there's actually a, a force there. We can't do that. Um, what we really need at some point here is to... You know, get to this Scottish war going. If we could, you know, as good at... If we could get as far as having... Uh, wow, there's like no gold there. Is there gold here? Yeah, there is gold there. Oh shit, there's a troops there though. Gotta wait. I guess we'll go to Malaga. No reason not to raid when the opportunity is available. Even if it's for basically no gold. 35 gold already. Yeah, so we want to definitely attack. Attack, attack, attack. Scotland. Oh, hell yeah, use it. So we just got a claim on Fife. So currently I have a claim on Gowrie, Strathern, and Fife. That'd be some good pushing against uh, Scotland. I just lost a bunch of gold though, which is a problem. Although I can borrow 300 from uh, Judaism. So I think that will be worth it as well. Let's uh, let's come dock, and then I think we're going to actually just go to war. Even though we're significantly behind uh, this guy in terms of his overall military force. Um, do I have any family that's unmarried? You're not married. Do you have any daughters or something? Unmarried daughters? Maybe you. Do you have any unmarried children? Arrange marriage. Prince of France. Nope. I have no women to marry. That's a problem. And you have no daughters to marry. Who else would be strong? What about Jorvik? Let's look at you. You have only courtiers. Aquitaine's in the midst of actually a war, so we don't want to deal with them. Wessex got their butt kicks recently. Lotharingia doesn't really have any boats to do anything with. Yeah, the real, the real people we want to ally with are France or... Uh, Brittany or Jorvik, I would say. Oh, look, a rebellion. That might help us a little bit. So right now we have 2,700 dudes. We have about 3,000 dudes. If we could intercept the Mercian army, we'd be fine, I think. So, do I do this war now? How much money are we earning? Almost 10 gold. That's actually really good. Ah, oh, I fucking died. Well, there goes that. Because we lose all the goddamn claims. We only have a fucking claim on... We claim on Strathern. We came on Taviadale. 
which is over here. We claim on Northumberland. Okay, we need to change your fucking focus right away to stewardship. Hopefully that at least gets us up one. Nope. And our wife fucking has no stewardship either. Can we execute her? No, you are definitely not our heir. Alright, um... Yeah, we definitely need to take care of this. Everyone get appointments. Jarl Dan of Sudrear. Collect taxes. Uh... Train troops. Probably back in the capital again. Um, the nice thing is, is that this might solve a little bit of my levy problem. Nope, not really. Um... Study technology. Do we have a better dude? Yeah, we do. Proselytize. Well, that basically makes that, that problem known. What we should now do is nominate Um, genius. So I want this guy to be my heir. This kid to be my heir. I also want to uh, educate this child myself. Boom. I didn't realize I was a fucking gray eminence, but okay. Sure, your childhood focus can be struggle. I have a discontented council. That's fine go forward today okay um next thing I want to do is be really good to get a better wife so request divorce no base reluctance and the Pope doesn't really like me can I get you executed Maybe I can get you executed. I do want to get rid of some land no matter what, but... I don't have to fucking Tyrone. Give Tyrone away? Which of these is the most upgraded? You're decently upgraded. You have stuff. You have nothing. You have a shipyard. So I think I'm going to get rid of these two down here. What about uh, this guy? Yeah, this has got some upgrades. Yes, yeah, so we'll definitely get rid of these two. So, um, fine character, men, not a ruler, my religion, my culture. This is my bastard who hates me. He's ambitious, though. Whose bastard is this? He's a bastard of my dynasty. Whatever, let's uh, grant him Desmond. This can't come back to bite me in any way. And then let's grant you a uh, Heil Mark. Right, why don't they like this? I'm confused. Three voters were yes, two voters were no. How is that not a majority? Let's try this again. Grant landed title. Dilfin. No, high mark. All right, cool. All right, cool. Let's make this guy at least a, uh, a happy camper. At least more of a happy camper. Would like to uh, kill my wife. That's the uh, the primary goal here. Kill my wife. Get my um, get my uh, domain up with a better wife. Probably will only get it to five, unfortunately. Um, speaking of laws, which I wasn't speaking of, but let's uh, get to the low centralization.
Oh shit, I didn't see who, who likes this yet. Mostly supporters. Most, so I think we'll be fine with this. Is that, is that law passed yet? Cool. So that gets us a six of five. And then I do think that if uh, we can kill off our wife, um, I thought we had uh, over a hundred. Send you a gift. Hopefully that gets us over a hundred. The feuding between Starkdar, the chase, and Jarl Hucker of Mon has reached your court and can no longer be ignored, as your vassals both have brought greater grievances against each other to you and hope you garner your support. Starkdar is clearly right. Count Jarl of Man. Starkdar is clearly right. Hucker is clearly right. So Starkdar doesn't really like me. Hucker doesn't like me even more. So, Hucker should like me a little bit more. One child is lacking a focus. Yes, get a focus. Um, become a fucking genius. Is this my heir? Has everybody, like, agreed on that? Interesting. Why do I have these boats up? Um, I'm no longer p possessed. Voice of Satan will be removed. Voice of Jesus will be removed. Holy Comet will be removed. Werewolf will be removed. Or I become ill. Okay, let me look at this real quick. I'm possessed. I'm gregarious. I'm deceitful. I'm I'm content, which sucks. Um, I'm patient, which is good. I'm a falconer, and I'm quick. And I want to kill my wife. Um. So I, uh, this is basically, do I just lose possessed? I say we try to lose possessed. Uh, nothing happened. Still possessed. Alright. That's fine. Um, we should get this guy fabricating some new claims, though. Oh, we already have a claim on fucking Strathern, don't we? Northumberland, Teviodote, and Strathern, yeah. We'll need to move you off. Army levies. Yeah, we, we have low levies right now because we're over our vassal limit. Um, which is why we want to kill our wife so that I can try to get a much better... Somebody with significantly better... Um... Shiz. Let's have a fair. <laughs> Let's end this with an with a fair, not an affair. Oh, what a bunch of dicks. Yeah, if we could yeah, owner marshal skill minus twenty percent too. I didn't realize that I'm a I completely suck. Uh, I really don't want to be stressed. So I'll just dump the money. I'm cool with dumping the money. Child lacks a focus. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what my strategy there is. I should be raiding right now. Um, fair is over, but the episode's also over. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate your feedback on... Uh, both what to do on this episode. That's weird that had that interface there. Uh, what to do, you know, forward for the show, obviously, for this series. Uh, do you want me to keep doing, playing? If you do, what do you think I should do? Go after Scotland right away, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, as well as what you might want to see me play next. But with that all being said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.